Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to make you familiarize with the read operation in a 6 transistor SRAM. I hope you all remember what we studied in the previous clips. We did study the read and the write stability criteria for a 6 transistor SRAM. Let's quickly redraw a 6 transistor SRAM circuit again just for a quick recap. This was our CMOS inverter 1. This was our CMOS inverter 2. We shorted both their VDDs. We shorted their ground as well. We also spoke about them being cross coupled which means that output of one was connected to the input of the second one. Similarly output of the second one was to be connected to the input of the first. We also discussed that at the output there will be an NMOS transistor and the gates of both the NMOS transistors would be shorted and we would call it as word line. We also drew bit and bit bar lines if you remember. This was bit and this was bit bar. And finally we also gave names to all our transistors. This we call it as P1, P2, N1, N2, N3 and N4. Now if we remember for the read operation we followed two basic steps. Let's quickly recall both that steps. We first made our WL line or the word line high which is equal to VDD. When that happened, my N3 and my N4 transistor turned on. The next thing which we did was, with the help of our pre-charge circuit, we made bit and bit bar equal to VDD. When this happened, we also saw an analogy. Before we go to that analogy, let's quickly name our nodes A and B, which I'm sure all of you remember. This was our node A. This was our node B and there was initially a zero written at A which implies that there was a one written at B and we wanted to read this zero at A. Because there was a zero written at A, we discussed that P2 was also on and so was N1. And according to the read stability criteria, we discussed that W by L of N1 was greater than W by L of N3. Only one thing needs your attention here is an analogy of the tank which we discussed then. Let's quickly redraw our tanks. If this is tank A and this is tank B, we discussed that if tank A is having water which is more and tank B has less water and if both these tanks are connected through a pipe, what's going to happen is water is going to flow from tank A to tank B till the point that water in both the tanks become equal. What we also need to understand is when this flowing is happening A is going to lose water B is going to gain water. Drawing a similar analogy we discussed that when N3 transistor was on and bit was pre-charged to VDD A was at node 0 so A because of N1 will stay to 0 but because of N3 will go up and we also know with this analogy that if a particular node is going up electronically that means the other potential which was higher has to go down. So VDD which is on bit will tend to go to some lower value while A tend to rise. This decrease in voltage at bit is going to be very very small. Let's call it as VDD minus delta V. Now we want to read this VDD minus delta V. So let's quickly understand what I mean. 